what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i want to discuss a few things so make sure you stick through this whole video guys before we go into this video do me one massive favor hit the like button right now it really helps my channel for the youtube algorithm so hopefully all of you guys can see my videos and maybe learn something from it so thanks for that and i appreciate all the likes and all the engagement of yesterday's video thank you again guys and now then let's dive right into today's video so the first thing I want to discuss is about Elon Musk Tesla. So Elon Musk announced not only will Tesla be accepting Bitcoin, but he also said, and this is actually massive guys, that all the Bitcoin that Tesla gets, they will hold it in Bitcoin. So most companies that accept Bitcoin right now around the world, they basically use a third party merchant and they convert the Bitcoin into fiat currency. Now, Tesla or Elon Musk announced that they will not be doing that. They will actually hold the Bitcoin in Bitcoin. And that is massive, guys. I mean, just think about it, what that means. This means, and they believe, they are very bullish on Bitcoin in the long term. And they are not looking for the immediate short term movements up and down. Long term, they want to hold Bitcoin, guys. They don't want to hold so much. I mean, Elon Musk is the second richest person in the world, right? He's got enough of the uh, fiat currencies and he wants to hold Bitcoin. So, guys... What does this tell you? I mean, I know what this tells me. This tells me that people like Elon Musk or there are plenty of other people or big other billionaires around the world want to hold Bitcoin. Although they have plenty of fiat currencies and other assets, they want to hold Bitcoin. Guys, it's simple as that. For them, the risk is bigger not to hold any Bitcoin or not to hold enough Bitcoin because those people, they want power as well. And maybe in the future, somebody who holds a lot of Bitcoin will be higher ranked. I mean, just like billionaires with fiat currency, this can very well be with Bitcoin in the future. So guys, this is very bullish news and uh, I just had to start off with this news. Now, another thing I have to talk about because this is something that, especially family, friends, people that know me, right? Uh, people that finally got into Bitcoin after all this time of me trying to convince them, like a family member of mine, sends me a article from one of the mainstream news saying that bitcoin is going to crash 90 percent and what can i say people who do investments based off mainstream news will never be successful guys i mean that's the way it is mainstream news is not here to help you they're here to scare you to make stories to make things big you know to for people to click on the news listen to the news i mean just look at the whole pandemic thing or whatever you want to call this COVID thing right I mean, most people, the smart people out there know what's going on in the world, more or less. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to, I'm just trying to think, I don't want to make this sound bad, but the news, they made this whole thing so much worse than it really is. And yeah, what can I say? The same with this, guys. I mean, how many times have we seen in the news Bitcoin's going to crash? Like all the mainstream news been saying this. I mean, even last year, before December, January this year and look at this Bitcoin has been climbing and climbing and climbing what am I trying to say I'm trying to say is don't react to these mainstream news because you'll only end up doing bad decisions and from fear guys and you know the thing is anyways you look at the charts or the price action and that will give you the news the news if you react to the news you are late you are late to the party okay so in other words show me the charts I will tell you the news we all know that saying and if the news is trying to scare people, the charts have already reacted to that news. So, guys, don't be a fool. Don't react to mainstream news. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's just funny to see it. And I get these messages sent by family or friends, you know, people that are not really into this. And they, they, they honestly, they think that, you know, because it says on this news outlet that Bitcoin is going to crash 90 percent. It gives them those down doubts and you know, I understand those people because they don't really know, you know, but this is why I'm telling you guys, don't be a fool and don't react to the news. And second of all, guys, if you are panicking and you worry that you will lose money or you worry that you will lose your profits, there's two things you have to understand, guys. Number one is most likely most of us will not be selling the top. It's impossible to know when the top is. OK, there will be a few people out there lucky, but in general, it's impossible to cash out at the top, at the peak. So this is why I keep on telling people, especially with all coins, and I'll explain why in a minute. 
if you are in huge, huge profits, you always want to take out profits along the way. And I've explained this many, many times. I mean, just like you dollar cost average in, so you don't want to buy everything in one day. You don't want to sell everything in one day. You want to take profits along the way and sell positions along the way. And that's the best way you can guarantee yourself a nice profit. But guys, realistically, it's impossible to know the exact top and to sell on that exact moment. So if you worried about news articles and stuff, you don't want to panic sell when the price dropped already. You should sell when the price is going up and up and up. Now, guys, I know that's very difficult psychologically because, guys, this is what makes a difference between a good trader and a bad trader because it's more psychological than anything else. You want to sell when the price is pumped and you want to buy when the price is down. However, most people would react the complete opposite. Most people, when the price dumps, that's when they start to get emotionally scared and worried and, and all of that stuff. Then they decide to sell. However, the price has dumped already and that's when they sell. And the complete opposite. When the price goes down, 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 people are scared to buy because obviously people are worried. Hey, look at this. The price is going down. I don't want to touch this now because I'm scared it's going to drop lower. So psychologically... A good trader or investor, the winners are psychologically the ones that win, who know how to handle this. And this is something very important. And guys, I know it's easier said than done. Because and finally, I want to talk about altcoins versus Bitcoin. As I said, I'll talk about because one thing to me, this is guys, this is just me personally, right? Bitcoin to me is a longer term hold. Now, on the other hand, all coins, all coins come and go. I mean, a lot of excitement comes with many different altcoins. They pump massively and then another thing comes out and another thing. And then you have NFT, you have DeFi, you have so many different kind of projects, right? And this is not to say that none of these projects are good. I think many of these things will do very well and are doing very well as we all see. However, guys, with altcoins, especially majority of the altcoins I have, I like to buy them low when I make a nice profit. I like to take it out and then find something else to put it in because most all coins long term, I would say five years, 10 years from now, probably won't be around. Or if yes, they'll probably not be doing what they are doing right now. So this is just something to remember, guys. I mean, there are a few all coins that I believe long term will be very, very successful. However, in general, most of them, just in my opinion, I don't think will be around in 10 years from now. So what is my message here? My message is. Bitcoin is a long-term hold and Bitcoin, all coins, different mindset, different mind game. So that's just my opinion, guys. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And guys, I'll see you on my next video. Bye now.